one well, thing I be mad about is that, that he used my incident to get him some money because he always talk about that's it. That's right. Yeah, yes. Trey Slack, I made me eighty nine hundred off of this. How you think I feel? And I ain't saying nothing. I ain't getting none of that. I ain't, and I'm innocent. So, so you <laughs> took a lie and made you a bunch of money. You didn't come back and say, "Hey, well, I know I lied on you." Here. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Uh, just going back to the incident and to the tape, and um, you think I can get that, that second part? <laughs> <laughs> you think I can get that second part, man? I'm going to put that hoe out. Well, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> so, we're going to talk about it, man. So, we're exactly. going to talk about it, man. <laughs> Hey, yeah. No, nah, man. I, like I said, I thank you for coming on the show. Like I said, I just I reached out to you because I was like, man, you know what? I like to hear the, what happened that day in detail because so many people jumped in my comments and they were so, oh, man, he set him up. Oh, man, that was a setup from the jump, man. Oh, that's fake. See, that's why I broke it down the way I did so everybody can see that it wasn't no setup. I just wish everybody can get the outside of him asking me. I even made a tape, man. I hate you ever even asked me for a haircut. Really? Yeah. That's the only one with the trap, boy. I just wish you would have just got, gave us them shirts and left. If you would have gave us them shirts and left, it wouldn't have never, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But you asked for a haircut. Damn. And that David, that that do you do you think that because Charleston's been killing, do, do you look at this as a win for Charleston with this incident happening? Because we've seen the whole run of Charleston White. Charleston White has been on the internet like crazy. Uh, he's walking around. See, that's forward. the only thing I be mad about is that, that he used my incident to get him some money because he always talk about that's it. That's right. Yeah, yes. Trey Slack, I made me 8900 off of this. How you think I feel? And I ain't saying nothing. I ain't getting none of that. I ain't, and I'm innocent. So so you <laughs> took a lie and made you a bunch of money. You didn't come back and say, hey, well, I know I lied on you. Here, none of that. So do you, do you think that this was an L or a win. Look like you said it's a win because he it's got all that money. Because he got that money. Yeah, he got that money. But if he be lying, do you really, do really believe? Too... Do you really believe that he got that money like that I don't from know. this? I don't know. I don't care <laughs> nobody money. You see what I mean? I just, so that's like... what I'm saying. I don't know, but I'm just saying that's that's what, he, what, he, said. Said. what he said. That's what he said. That's the screen. That's the conversation, man. Like 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 I said. It's crazy because with the internet the way it is, people are creating things and you don't even know if they real or not. You don't even know if they real or not. You don't know if they acting. You don't know if they, and with him, sometimes he do be playing. Like you say, he, he, you don't know if, know if he in character mode. Do you, man, let me ask you this, because I got to, I ask everybody this, man, how important is God, man, in your life, bro? Man, I'm a believer in God. I don't believe everything in the Bible, though. No, but just you know what I'm saying some of the stuff is, but but for, for my mom, grandmama, everybody, they real strong believers in God. I can't do them but believe in God. <laughs> mama and them, mama and them up there. Yeah, yeah, and and the reason I ask you that is because all this stuff, man, it don't lead down the right road. You and I both know that. You've been running a clean shop, man, for the last three years, going right at man, and, and a mobile barber shop since and, and 2004, and, 2016. So you really got passion in this. You right. you really put your you know skin in the game in this, man. And like I said, I hate that happened to your business because right. business is important. As black men trying to have a little something in the community, man, the the barber shop is a staple in the community. Uh, right. Of the conversations, yeah, yeah. the it's people a, it's that a come mental, through. It's a mental thing for people. People coming up with problems. You know, I, you got to talk people out of problems, and they come there telling me my, they problems. Like me and my wife said. Right. Hey man, what you think about this? I need you to talk to my kid. I'm gonna bring my son up here and let you talk to him because wow. I see what you're doing. Do, do you feel like that hurt with Charleston White and those antics being at your shop? Do you feel like that hurt your business? Uh, for the ones that didn't know me, like the ones, the people that would walk in, but the people that's really been down with me, I ain't lost them people, you yeah. know. But but the the the, the extra company, the money that that just fall in on the the humbug walk in and stuff. It ain't no more. It's like a little ghost town right now. Wow, because of what happened. Yeah. Because you right, spread you... the word that, that, that it's a bad spot. And it is a bad spot, but it's not a bad spot. You got Congressman Veasley, uh, uh, Mark Veasley spot up there. You got Wells Fargo across the street. You know, it's just a typical neighborhood they probably just need. What's the name of your shop? Barbershop Express. Barbershop Express, y'all. 6800 Brentwood Star. 6800. We got to get, get the business back up. 
We, we, we got to get the walk-ins back going. Don't let this detour you, right? That's right. This, don't let this send you another way because this, this brother right here, he got his heart in the barber. Uh, the barber, the cuts is pristine. He can even use the comb and the razor, nigga. That's what let me know. And we're really looking, for, uh, we looking for two barbers and one salon. Looking for two barbers two and one, one salon. One stylist. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. So since um, Kevin White is gone now, so that mean that all your dye supplies are gone now, so you can't even use the dyes no more. Oh, uh, let me tell you that. I even tried, because me and him was so tight, right? I would call him and say, hey, bro, I got somebody that need their hair dyed, right? He, he'd say, nah, I think I'm going to pass on this. Like, he's scared. Like, I'm going to say, I'm like, bro, mm -hmm. what you tripping on? You know I didn't have nothing to do with it. You know for a 1,000 percent fact that I didn't have nothing. That's why I've been going in hard on him here lately, man. Mm. He been all kind of bitch-ass dudes to me. You hear me straight up because you let this go on. I sent that to you. You could have stopped that. Hey, bro, that ain't the one. You see what I'm saying? You had all the action stopped that. So what is your motive for not telling him that? What is your motive for not showing him that? What is your motive letting your brother crash out and looking like a dummy? Mm -hmm. What you learned in 31 years? Is you a coward? You can't speak up to him because he got the money? You scared he going to cuss you out? Cause right is right and wrong is wrong, man. You let him drag me. Some like people, that. right or wrong, they gonna defend their they family. Shouldn't. You understand what I mean? Right or wrong, he gonna still always have his back. Cause that's how some family is. Yeah, but it, it it's definitely. But it's we playing a different game. We playing a street game yeah. now, man. That 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 went into you, now. You got my business, but that really was some street stuff. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's all about how you handle and decipher that situation. Wow, I just, like I said, man, I want to see your business thrive, brother. Man, you I like so me, being that, a black-owned business, it ain't many of us, you know, but to see you step out there on faith and open up a business, coming from de doing it mobile, you know, to putting it in a brick and mortar, I think that's superb, man. Like I said, man, and, and kudos to you for figuring it out. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because a lot of brothers will never have a business. I've never opened a business up. Some of the same very dudes that had the incidents dealing with it, Hadn't opened up nothing. Sorry. You know what I mean? So, man, you thank you for even being a pillar in the community. Thanks. I would say, you know, I'd do a re-grand opening. I'm fly like that. That's, if I was you, I'd re-grand open that thing. I'd go down there mm -hmm. and get the city to cut a ribbon in the front of that thing, and I'd keep it moving. Oh, we on it, boy. You see what I'm that. saying? We on it. Yeah, I, I'd redo it again, because at the end of the day, you know and I know, if your heart is in the right place, man, God ain't going to do nothing but give you a push. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, it was, a, it, and I say this, man, you know, people don't like it because I talk Bible, because like I say, I, right. I, I study and read. Uh, 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 Jay, it's a story in there about a guy named Joseph, and they his brothers did him wrong. Mm -hmm. And he and he say, what y'all did to me for bad, God turned it to good. So sometimes God will turn things to good. Just because the situation seems bad doesn't mean it can't be turned into good. You know what I'm saying? So I just, I just feel like, man, you... If you stay focused and keep planting them seeds up there and keep cutting that hair, I'm coming through there and get me a cut. Uh, I'm gonna come. I got me one today. Yeah, but yeah. but I'm gonna come through there and and then level up with you. Let you give. I might get you to use the comb and razor. I want to go back one more time. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? I'm about to go find me <laughs> a go, comb. We got to break one of them razors down, there. right? But I already got them rat tails. See, I was off the barber, so I, I had the ups on there. But I had uh, that rat tail. <laughs> had that rat tail. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.